10 days ago, I landed myself in the ER on my own volition, on my own accord. I called it in. I called in the, the SWAT team, a.k.a. my mom, to bring me in and address my problem. So here we go to a new chapter in my life. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? Big shout out to Natalie Valdez, OG constant supporter of the channel hit me up saying i want you to get your favorite pizza and wings um you know what do i gotta hit you up with we came to a uh, decision i included i was just like give me something for a tip for the worker uh, i was gonna do this in the truck but it came down to studio this is a new place i've never tried it was uh in my head i said i was like you know we all know i love pizza hut but let me try something local so i look up some local spots and uh, this place is in a store that was by my high school that I used to go to for lunch all the time, like a convenience store, but with food. And uh, it's now a different place under new ownership called Pose Variety. But uh, what really led me there was the numbers. It's at 444 Churchill Drive, and there was exactly 111 111 reviews on Google. I'll put it up right here, uh, as you can see. I was following the numbers because I have to tell you guys something about the numbers in my life. Okay, so this is going to be a deep video, uh, a long video, but uh, let's get to a pour up first. Uh, this is me coming clean about getting clean. It's going to be a hard video. Not, not hard really because fuck it, like I'm supposed to tell you this. This is the truth. Um, but we need to pour a Coca-Cola first. So I did go in with a can of Coke on this one. And uh, I just need to tell you guys a deep truth uh, and kind of what happened to me recently and what I'm currently recovering from and potentially recovering from, from the rest for the rest of my life. Okay, so let's just kind of barely sit this in the middle. We pour up. I know it's been a long time since I had a vulnerable story time with you guys. People have been asking for a story time in the comments for a long time. Those who are here still with me, sticking with me. You guys might see the shakes. You've been seeing the shakes on this channel for a long time. There's a multitude of reasons for that, but uh, one of them being alcohol. So let's talk about that today. Before we do that, cheers to my 10th day. 10 days ago, I landed myself in the ER on my own volition, on my own accord. I called it in. I called in the, the SWAT team, AKA my mom, to bring me in and address my problem. So here we go to a new chapter in my life called sobriety before we do that let's have one good bite of pizza and some runny ranch and then we'll talk about things so this had really good reviews although it's looking very standard homemade ish style pizza pie but we have some runny ranch here and uh this has been my shit lately. I'm just going to put this here for right now. I've been coming in with the actual chunks of the banana pepper. On the pie. Not that I've eaten much pizza lately, but... I've been loving the banana peppers on the pie. Okay. So thank you, Natalie. And uh, now I'm about to tell it all. Here it goes. Y'all know I've been a part of my entire channel. I've told you guys this whole time. Um, you know my stories. I, in 2019, I mean, I've drank heavy and a lot for a long time. I've always managed it. And that's the mo the riskiest part about me is like, am I an alcoholic? I don't know. We have yet to determine that. Am I a heavy drinker that uses it to cope with my over anxious, overthinker, 
like ethereal creative person mind yes that's more why i do it because it helps me to deal with this reality but on the back end of it it's terrible right there's it's all bad mostly so I had never seen repeating numbers in my life up until my shit fell apart in Toronto, got out of a toxic relationship, moved home, living at my sister's, but the first time where it's like, oh, you can focus on like YouTube and really commit and your dreams and goals. This is at the time when I like made merch and started selling my music and I got the sponsorship with like coldest water and I was getting the most views I was getting and blah, blah, blah. This is around the time I started see seeing repeating numbers. Mine are 111, 2 but 5 very rarely, mostly one through four. And when I say from 2019 till today, it's like they're stalking me. So I looked into because I look into a lot of shit in, in life, and I know that they are. Some would regard them as spiritual, angel, angel numbers are called, like protective numbers or numbers to guide you. Some would say that they are, in fact, new age and demonic in nature, and that you should stray away from them because they are counterfeit. However, they led me to my decision to call my mom to go to the hospital so that I could get sober because I knew I had a problem approaching. Well, I've been had a problem, but... I maintain, I manage. I'm the worst kind, I'm calculated. I'm intelligent in the, shit, in the dumb shit that I do. I mainly use alcohol at night as a nine to 12 type thing, as a way to relax, a way to sleep, even though it's the worst sleep you can get, but it's the only sleep I can usually get because I have insomnia. anxiety, a lot of shit, but the alcohol just perpetuates that in the long run. Anyways, I've looked into what these numbers can mean. Now, you may buy into them, you may not. Um, I can just tell you that I never saw them before, and then I've been stalked by them for three years. Um... You could even chalk that up to subconscious programming of just noticing them, but I don't think so. And here's why. So, these last couple years been heavy on the secret drinks. A lot of alone drinking. Life's been very alone and solitude-esque, you know? It's been a ride. Uh, anyways, I get to this point two Saturdays ago. So ten days ago. Where I just do not feel myself. Uh, in fact, I was suicidal. And uh, I knew I had to call my mom. And I knew I had to go to the hospital. I knew I had to 
be seen and I knew I needed probably possible help to come off it because you can come into del to delirium tremens which are no joke I've never gone into them before I've had shitty really shitty dry outs that suck ass that are scary but I've never been in a DT anyways call my mom she has alcoholism in, in her past she knows what's up drives me to the hospital I'm an emotional wreck I'm not like drunk or anything else. I was just, I had some wine in the day to try to taper off. I was trying to taper off the vodka. So you, you use something less ridiculously um, alcoholic, like less purity to, tr to taper off. Cause you don't want to taper off benzos or alcohol or just, sorry, quick cold turkey. Cause you could die. I have wings here and uh, they are oddly crispy. I like them crispy, but they seem kind of overcooked. But uh, let me try one. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the story. This is honey garlic. A little crispy for my liking, I think. Definitely worked out. Definitely been chilling in like a heat, in like a heat lamp scenario. So anyways, go to the ER. I'm chilling there. My one sister calls me. My other sister's working. She works there. We're all in communication. I'm kind of breaking down. And this guy behind me, he almost reminds me just like of me. He's His girlfriend's like rubbing his shoulder and he's like having a mental breakdown. He's kind of crying. I think he overheard my conversation with my sister. And then my mom got up to go see if she could get some money for the vending machine to get water. I turned back to him. I'm like, I feel like I need to talk to this guy for some reason. I'm like, yo, like, come here for a sec. Like, are you like, what are you going through? It sounds like you kind of going through what I'm going through. He's like, he's like, I, he's like, and you could tell like he was pretty looped. He's like, I've done a lot of drugs in my life. He's like, I go down a lot of rabbit holes. I read a lot and I research a lot of things. And I could just tell that he was in the same state of mind as me. In a sense, like it was all just too much. And he was having a hard time. So I have this little chat with him get admitted into this what's called like a family room it's this little box of a room two chairs probably like eight feet by six feet and uh i'm waiting in that room with my mom we're just chatting she's just, just keeping an eye on me just seeing, checking in seeing how i'm doing having chats and um i'm feeling pretty weird <laughs> just sh shitty and sketchy and I get seen by multiple uh, people they come to check your vitals and then they, they try they come to give you actually a little bit of medication a little bit of a thiamine because you're low in thiamine gave me a Valium for the nerves um, a psych person comes and psych evals you um, you know, I'm completely lucid. I, like, I, I'm extremely expressive, right? Like, I, I, I'm, and I'm using medical terms that these these people are like looking at me like, how do you know that and shit? Because I'm like, because I'm really aware of this reality and I do a shit ton of research on my own when I'm drinking, <laughs> okay? But I kind of just told them, like, my deal. And they're like, basically... You know, you're not 
a nutcase. <laughs> You've just been drinking a, a, too much for a long time. And yeah, maybe you need some therapy to help you like properly cope with your reality. So anyways, we're halfway through all the shit happening during our stay. Maybe it took like a few hours, two hours. Halfway through, I'm sitting and I'm across from my mom. I look to the left of me and closer to the chair that I chose to sit in is a torn out piece of paper out of the wall or paint peeled back, I should say. And in it is this picture that I will put up right now. Okay. Sent chills through my whole body, sent chills through my spine. I told my mom about it. She was like, that's crazy. That's weird. This is insane that you, you know, um, so I'll put the picture up right here. So it says five, five, five in time, like with time. And then it has like the, how you keep tally, like a tally, like a running tally. It has five, five, five tally, like underneath it. And that's closest to me in this room at the hospital that I finally chose. And I'm like, I need to get sober. I need to get clean of this. I need to rid of this in my life because it's the last thing that's holding me back before I'm even allowed to become anything that I need to become or be the type of success that I want and see this, see the success that I want in my life. I've kind of known this for a while. Sorry, it's getting harder to eat because the story is just so much more like meaningful or intense at this point. So you see that picture, I'm like, okay, that's crazy. We leave the hospital. We go and get, it's a snowy night, we get my mom's car. She has like, she's not good at technology. So her time on her, her display in her car is way off the map. Like it was, it's not even close. Cause she never adjusted it during the time differentials. Get in the car, as I hop in the car, close the door, on her dash is 222. I keep that one to myself though. I'm like, okay, there's communication happening here. So 222 on the, on, on the dash, like on her car clock. I had this debt that's been stressing me out, that's been hanging over my head. It was in collections, it's 1300 bucks. Nothing to like truly stress about, but I didn't want to let it keep going and fuck me over in, in my future, right? For credit and stuff and all that. Something else I also told my mom about. Sorry I didn't bring a napkin and I'm not getting up to get one at this point. So, She goes, okay, like, let me read the letter, like pay it off. But rec like, cause collections, there's nightmare stories of people paying their debt with collections and then them just like scamming you, ripping you off, or they don't take it off your debt. Like they don't, they fuck you over. So she's like, well, we'll do it together so that I can be like a third party witness and you can like film it and everything. Like we can have all the documentation. I get on the phone do everything with the guy. I transfer them. Um, they settled the debt for $927 instead of 1340, I think it was. So I saved like 400 bucks. I go to take a screenshot of the money transfer to the collection agency, which I can also put up right here. I didn't notice it, but when I went to double check just to make sure everything was right, I looked at the time and it was 555. All right? So I go to my mom. I go, remember how the other day in the hospital I told you like these repeating numbers are like following me, trying to trying to better me, trying to make way for change in my life. And they've been with me since 2019. She goes, "Yeah." I go, "Well, look at this." And I showed her the, the screenshot from paying the debt. She goes, "Okay, that's that's getting like spooky." And I She's very spiritual. She's like uh, clairvoyant and very like tapped in with 
she's we're more similar than the other people in my family let's just say my dad's a very mechanical of this world 3d kind of guy he's a he's a fixer he fixes things that are already here see that's the difference between somebody who's spiritual and not like i'm a creator like i create original lyrics beats da, da, da. like if i make a song that's a unique song that i made like and where does that come from that's divine that like that's from the creator that's from that's an expression of god like that's get that's you know what i mean and i bring i bring it from nothing to something right ethereal still intangible but any song i've created like no one else has created that uh, that song that's a one of one where did all of those lyrics come from where did that rhythm come from where did the beat that i made come from where did because i create i'm a vessel it comes through me so anyways so i show her that i get this dead off my back and then i'm just on my days now of like i'm chilling i'm trying to just i'm being good cleaning out but they did give me 72 hours or sorry 96 hours worth of valium or diazepam for the withdrawal for the come down because it's dangerous to just quit so i did i took those appropriately and then i got put on this uh sleep aid slash serotonin booster slash antidepressant slash um was there another part to it no that's all of it uh called trazodone so i've been taking this trazodone it did help for a bit it's making me feel a little dull and weird now i think i want to get off it as soon as possible now that i have clean like you know a full week because like three days for your body to get rid of rid of the ethanol and then seven days eth ethanol alcohol um and then seven days probably since the three days now to the 10 to the, to the 10 days is like I've, you know, I'm cleared out. Like I've just been cleared out for it light that long. So still my brain is having to get used to a reality where all of the, like that state that it, I used to let it or give to it doesn't exist anymore. So there's going to be an adjustment period. Let's just say that. Anyway, during this whole time, these days, it's been harrowing. It was really rough at the start. It's getting better and better. Today is maybe the best it's been. Um, but still the numbers are constantly arising. The other night, for example, two nights ago, I'm sitting there. I click my computer, I go up, I hit, I just go to check what time it is. It's 4.43. I go to myself, I don't want to know, I don't, I don't want to intentionally see the 444 like, like I want, like I want to see it. I don't want to see it. So I go back to click play on, I was watching Euphoria. I go back to click play on Euphoria. My computer freezes and shuts down, which at that moment, when it does that, because my phone was plugged in, charging, my phone was on like sleep mode, blacked out, because my computer failed, when I went to go click saying, I don't want to see the number, my iPhone came to life. And what do you know? It was 444. I'm getting just chills just thinking about it. I'm like, I didn't even want to see it. So, that leads me back to the numbers of this video about following the numbers. And I'm, you know what? Maybe this video wasn't even about the pizza and the wings. It was more about this. And I'm sorry that, you know, I'm not crushing and everything. Maybe sorry to, to Natalie, but I was like, I don't want to give Pizza Hut my money or not even my money, Natalie's money. So she's helping me. I'm helping someone. Then I make content that helps people. For whatever reason in my head, I want to go and try a local chain. I saw the numbers. It resonated. It was, it was, it's a high school connection, a place I used to go, a place I haven't tried. Saw the numbers, and I go, 
I'm going to try that. And during that, I'm going to tell this truth about my life, about just fucking everything. Like, it's like, well, pretty much everything. Well, the hardest thing lately that I've been dealing with for a long time. So, I help, Natalie helps me to help a place that makes content that helps people. Okay? I think that's sort of the cycle here. At least that's what I'm attributing this to. That doesn't end here. My clock in my vehicle was off today by two hours because I haven't been keeping up with the time like my mom because I just, I always have my phone on me. I just don't care. I don't care about my dash. Like it's just whatever. I have my phone. I don't need it to be right. I go out today to shoot this video in the vehicle and something feels off. I pull into this parking lot. I look at my camera or look at my, my dash for some reason like my clock, not my dash, but my clock, 333. I say, you know what? I'm going to do this video at home tonight. <sighs> While I'm waiting for this, I ordered this at 1047. While I'm waiting for this to be delivered, I'm walking around getting things ready, set up for when it gets delivered so I can get it, you know, hot and fresh, which now it isn't. Um, and these wings were not hot and fresh. So, you know, this place isn't getting this an awesome review. I'm kind of even over the wings at this point. Um, I'm debating with myself. I'm like, do I tell this story about like basically my interactions with at this point, God and, uh, I go check my phone and it's 11, 11. So. It's like, I gotta make the video. So, I did look into the number, what, five, 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 because each number represents something different, each repeating number. And five, five, five is the number meaning massive change about to take place in your life, uh, getting rid of old habits, bad habits that die hard meaning you have to give something up in order to transcend, in order to go to the next level. And uh, I've known for a long time alcohol has been holding me back. So, it has to go. It's time for it to go bye-bye. Otherwise, I don't get to get my next level i don't get to like, get my next blessing i don't get and it, like it's it'll destroy me right that's the course it was taking me so something's looking out for me so this isn't what negates the idea that like anything would be demonic about these numbers is that i don't see how me call me going to the hospital realizing what i need landing in that room and seeing that on the wall and me committing to the, the fact that it's just like it's time could be anything other than God. So, and you can take everything I say with a grain of salt, but there are these little proofs in here that I've put in, uh, but I don't bullshit you guys. Sure, I might hide stuff like how heavy I've been drinking, but I'm not hiding it anymore. So what does that tell you? I've always been a pretty straight up guy on this channel. So that's what I've been going through, honestly. I felt more moved to speak today than to eat. And to be honest, it wasn't that good. I'm just going to say it wasn't that good. It's pretty standard pizza. The wings are like dry as a bone. And I like them crispy and crunchy. Um, I, I'm sorry, Natalie, if this, if this killed the pizza and wings vibe. The Coke is amazing, I'll tell you that. But this is something that I had to say. I had to tell this. I had to I had to admit it to myself. I had to admit it to my family. Like everybody knows. My dad, sisters, everybody, grandparents. I had to admit it. And I and 
I had to admit it to you guys who've been with me for so long and also possibly are others out there struggling with the same thing. So if my story can inspire or help you make the change, then that's the ultimate like reward out of this video is to admit it to myself and to maybe get somebody else out of it on the other side of this while I go through it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just had a change, it's time for a change. It's going to be a long it's going to be a long rough process though. It's very tough and if you're going through it, I know I know every I know every aspect of what you're dealing with. Um, <laughs> I get it. I totally get it. So thank you again, Natalie, <laughs> and maybe sorry, but uh, y'all know what to do. Till the next one, eat good, live well, <laughs> and stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.